Well, hello, Sam Owens here with uh, another uh, tip on how to maintain a Scott's Classic 20 inch reel push mower. Uh, it requires a little bit of maintenance, so that's what I'm going to cover right now. And uh, what I have is starting from this point, this is paper to see how sharp the blades uh, are actually the adjustment of the blades more than anything and it will tell you if the blades uh, need sharpening uh, with ragged cuts. The user manual that comes with the mower that will give, guide you to checking the adjustment of the blade. WD-40, you want to spray the mower before and after you use it. Now, if you need to adjust the blades, you're going to possibly need a half inch uh, socket or wrench, and also a, um, let's see, this is a 7 sixteenths, or a screwdriver. And uh, I'll show that what you can use both of these. This is how you will adjust the blade position to give the best cutting. So there's uh, two ways to adjust the blade. Now, I've got it cleaned off and I'm ready to work on it. Uh, this is the cutting position with the wheels in the back with the adjusters up to uh, adjust the level of cut. And what you can do is for transporting, you can move it along this way and then you can push it. Uh, now you can't pull it. When you pull it, what will happen is the blades will try to turn. So what you need to do is just lower it down like this when we're going to check the blade. And in this position, I found is the best way to check that. You also have uh, full access to both sides uh, adjusters to adjust this blade. Actually, it doesn't adjust the blade. It uh, adjusts the cutting surface. This blade right here is what these blades revolve and actually do a scissor cut. And that's how it works. It's, it's just like a pair of scissors. And so that's what we're going to check to be sure that it will cut like a nice sharp pair of scissors. Okay, I'll tell you right now, I've already checked my adjustments and had to make a slight little bit of adjustment and it is cutting right and I want you to see what a mower that is adjusted properly uh, you should look for. Now, with the mower in this position, and it's nice if you have it up, up like this that you can work on it, uh, what you're going to do is put a piece of paper on this end with uh, an opening area there, and I can move this, and the cutting area, it cuts in this direction. You can swing these around, and you don't want to get your fingers down in here. You want to be very safe on this. And all you have to do is move it like that to check the cutting, right like that, and you'll be safe. Now, what you do is adjust the blade to where you put the paper up in there, perpendicular now, you just put it right in, not like this, but like this. Right up there, like a piece of uh, paper that you're gonna cut with scissors. And you want to make sure that it cuts all the way across. So now I've got, oh, probably four inches there that I'm going to check. And now I just give it a quick little, and it cut it off nicely. Now you go move down, and then you should be able to do the same thing again. A quick cut, and there you go. Another cut, and then I go on down and adjust the blade so that you're going to get a good cut for it. There you go. And then move on down and get it. And there you go. And that's the way it's going to cut the grass. And then down finally at the end, adjust the blade to where you can get the paper in there. And there we go. 
voila, my blade is perfectly adjusted. Now, I'm going to do something for you to show you how to make the adjustment. I'm going to take it out of adjustment just a little bit and then put it back in adjustment. So let's watch that. Now, I adjusted these adjusting screws to where it's out of adjustment. Now, we're going to show you one thing. When you pull this, notice it just spins. You should hear it making a slight contact with the cutting blade, and it doesn't. Now, when I go to do my test, you'll see that all it does is that. And if it doesn't cut, then you need to make an adjustment. Now we're going to see how to make that adjustment. It's very easy. And uh, you uh, can use a 7 sixteenths for these, or you can use a large screwdriver if you have one, and you could put a, a wrench on this and use a screwdriver. But this is kind of nice to have, and you could use the ratchet with it. I just happen to have this, and I'm going to use it, uh, and you might have it. Okay, now, what you can do is look down there, and you can actually see a gap. I don't think I can actually get the camera to see that, but if you have a light underneath or some light paper, you'll be able to see all the way across there. I've got, oh, it looks like... Uh, a 64th of an inch, a very fine little hairline, about the size of a hair. I've got it uh, all the way across evenly. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to bring this blade down until it's getting closer to making contact with the uh, cutting blade, uh, the, the blades here with the cutting surface, this cutting bar. Okay. This is cutting, uh, this is adjusting the cutting bar up and down. Since ours is loose, we want the cutting bar to go up closer to the blades. It's too far away. It pivots right here. And this side, you can see there's a bolt right here. <clears throat> if you find that these are too hard that you can't turn them, you may have to loosen on that bolt. And actually, it's a half inch, and you just put a half inch on there. Mine are already loosened, so I don't need to worry about it. But you had a half inch wrench there, and just a slight little bit of loosening so that you can turn these with uh, enough ease. Okay, let me get my blade uh, adjuster back. All right, what I'm going to do is I'm not going to use this. I'm going to use a screwdriver because mine are easy enough to turn with uh, since I've adjusted these back a little bit. Okay, the way this works, if I want the cutting bar to go up closer to the real blades, then I have to raise this side. So to raise this side, I've got to adjust this up, and this is what will raise it. This one on the back raises the cutting surface. This lowers it. Well, it's already too low, but you have to adjust both of them together to get, get it to, to work. They should be tight when you first check them. That's tight, and that's tight. Now, since I want this to go down, raising the blade, then I have to loosen this. And here's what you want. This is the secret to your adjustment, is make small, uh, like a, uh, a 64th of an inch, just a very little bit, like right there. I just slightly, barely could see it move. And then you wanna go the opposite way on this, you want to go down, so you tighten down, right there. And then you do the same thing on the other side. You loosen, and here I go, just a little bit. And then we tighten on this, raising this side of the blade. There you go. And now I'm going to turn it, and I'm still not far enough. 
It's maybe a little closer here, so I'm going to go ahead and do this one. I'm going to back off on this. And then tighten this one up. And then I'm just looking at it and can see. Okay, it's still not enough. I'm going to loosen on this a little more because I did a lot more to make it pronounced. Okay. I can see I'm touching now. Now I go over here to this side and I'm looking and I need to loosen this one. That gives it room to travel up when I adjust this one down. Okay, loosen and then tighten just a little bit, the same amount. Hear that? Okay. That's probably about enough. So what I do is I make sure they're both tight. Whoop. Yeah. Okay. okay, that one should be tight. And this one should be tight. Okay, good. Okay, we're going to test it now to see if it cuts. So I do the same thing, put this in perpendicular like that, and then get enough space in there. I can move this back and forth, get my thumb here, and just get a little bit of it. And it cuts it clean, move down to the center. That does the same thing. And then down here, There, and then down here. Ah. Okay, see, we have a problem with this end. So what do I have to do? You're gonna tell me. I need to back off on this because I need to move this cutting bar up closer to the blade on this end. So I need to loosen ever so slightly and then tighten down ever so slightly. Let's try that. Okay, I'm going to loosen just a little bit. Now when I loosen this, it gives it room to travel when I just tighten this. So I go just a tiny bit. Okay, you probably didn't even see it, but now I'm going to tighten this one down just the same amount. Okay. All right, now. We're going to go back down to this side and see what we got here. Just your blade. There. Now we'll do one more cut. All right, let's see. Might need to go some more. Yep. Yeah. See, it's not doing right, so I loosen up just a little bit. Okay, and down just a little bit. Okay. Now. There. That's what we want. Okay, one more time. Whoop. Let me see. Let me get another bite here. Yeah, it, it depends on, you want to get it back farther and give it a good spin like that. There. So it's adjusted and we want to go down here to this end and make sure it's, yep. And in the center. Perfect. So she's adjusted uh, and that's how you do it. And these are the adjusting um, uh, screws. Here's how you adjust the height of the cut. And it, it, this is a matter of trial and error, but you just push over and move them down. And you do the same way with the other, exactly at the same point, adjust them together. And so I like mine up here. Right, right there.
for a lower cut and uh, it'll be great. Now let's take it out and show you uh, what you should do before and after for cleaning and uh, lubricating your mower. Okay, when you're gonna take it out to mow the grass, it's a good idea to spray the blade and the cutting bar uh, with a little WD-40 all over and up and down this way. And it will actually uh, keep the blade from getting dull a little bit better because it'll be lubrication there. And that's the way it should sound when it's cut. See, the blade is making contact with the cutting bar, so it sounds good and it should cut really good. And then uh, my height is adjusted. Now, when you finish mowing, this is what you want to do. Is there'll be grass on it. You want to take a, a hose and on a jet, just hose it all down and push it and get all the grass off and dirt off of the wheels up in there. And it won't hurt it. water displacement. That WD-40 will take care of the water that's in the places it shouldn't be. So you just spray everything down. Everything and it'll be in good shape for next mowing. Your mower will last a long time bought this in 2009 and it's 2022 right now works great I haven't said anything about sharpening but there is a procedure uh, if you feel like you need to sharpen the blade but if you take care of it this way it's going to take a long time before you're going to need it the lubrication is a key part of it okay I want to thank you for watching <laughs>